Alright, what is up you guys? And of course as always, welcome back to another OU battle with yours truly, the Scarander. And uh, now where's my opponent here? Uh, we're actually talked about a little bit before. He's a Twitter follower and um, he was all about the niche thing, so I was really excited. And I think he's from Japan or Vietnam. So um, if you see this, do correct me. <laughs> I beg of you, I really mean that. And uh, yeah, you know, this is a cool team. I'm really liking this. Seeing Inteleon on his side is really cool. And um, I mean, Mudstay looks to be really good versus me. Um, also, Mimikyu does strain a whole lot. And I think actually Emolga can be very, very frustrating for me in the long run to be forced to be dealing with. So I feel I'm gonna lead up with Cumberdale. I think it's. It's rather free, depending on, and I really mean this, if he leads off with um, his Emolga. If he leads off with Emolga, I'm actually forced to switch out. Uh, but overall, I'm, I really like this team, and uh, finally, like, getting into more, like, throw st dumb stuff together. Don't think about the tears, but at the same time, don't go overboard. And you have something really fun, and for all the right purposes, this is actually significantly fun. And there is the Emolga lead. I mean, how obvious was it? Was that I? <laughs> um, so I'm out. Um, easiest switching I have is uh, Rachlat or Raklat, and um, basically set up my hangry mode. Um, I guess Ear Slash is very free, and so is Volt Switch. Even Muscle, now I think of it, uh, Volt Switch. So that's cool. I do believe this invites. Um, that was a good prediction too, wasn't it? Uh, this absolutely invites uh, Mudstale. Hmm. What do I do versus a Mudstale? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like, I think that's the easiest switch in. I could be carrying Grass Knot, my opponent doesn't necessarily know that. But I am actually the more... Um, Sweeperish variant of Morpico, which is just Aurora Veal Protect Rapid Spin, and I think I have Potty Shot. So, yeah, you know my play for sure. Um, Alright, my opponent taking a real long time here. I guess it isn't such an easy choice. Oh, yeah, that's a good play actually. So, no Potty Shot for me. However, I can attack with Aurora Veal uh, and get a really good. Good chunk here. Um, we'll see what happens. Oh my god. Yeah. Ah, okay, crit. I was like, damn. Damn. Right, leech life. Ooh. 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 This is a super power, isn't is it? Damn. Damn. I like that. So. So that was unfortunate. Um, so sending in Talex, I do believe a U-turn should be really like good enough to, to take it out, and I believe this invites Mudsdale. We have super luck, so we can always crit. Really, Leech Slide, that's actually really cool. So it's most likely a super powered set, for sure. And um, withdraw, like I said, Mudstale, I'm feeling it in my chisels. That's the wrong Mudstale, that, that's not a Mudstale. <laughs> right? Do we get the crit? Nah, we did good damage anyway. So... I mean, my switches in here was absolutely lessened. Um... I'll actually bring in this. Um, I think I'm in a good spot to actually just being able to potentially take it out. A fully power hard pump should be enough, really. Um, if it's scarfed, then it's gonna be rough, but I, I, I absolutely think I can take a hit. Yep, stays in. I miss. And uh, this couldn't get worse. Huh. Wow, like, 
what the actual hell just happened. Um, right, Ronin Cumberdale in the um, Thunderbolt is the easy play. I, I just want to ship this thing if I can. Um, this is turning out to be quite uh, frustration. Discharge, that's hefty. Luckily, not on a para. Um, like air slash will still do a whole lot, even though it isn't like super powerful. Um, I figure he was probably scared of spore. Ball switch, yeah, I think that's the right play. Um, I want to save spore for like the right situation, but I guess that's gonna come my way. Not a thing, but that was probably why Ball Switch in the first place. Um, thinking Air Slash would not do really that much damage. But, ah, missing that momentum was kind of kind of rough. See, so switches into. Oh, Flareon. That's cool. Spore would be nice here. Ah, <laughs> uh, like another crit. Like, really? Question is Is it a Toxic Orb set? Have yet to find that out. Yeah. Not that I have the best switches here. I mean, ah, oh, this is this is tough. This is the worst. I really don't want to take a fire blast. I have no idea what it decides to do, but either way, it's gonna sting. And then a lot, of course. Let's see... Flare Blitz. I actually think this could kill. Alright, we, we, we scrape that. We scrape it. But... Um, left... No, Shell Bell. That's new. I go for Harder Pump here. I think we're slower. But we're max speed, so even, hopefully we break through. And... Um, Basically, hopefully, I'm like faster than Flareon anyway, even with the paralyzation. I do believe it's a 50% drop in speed, so Inteleon is still quite speedy. So, hopefully, we, like I said, cannot break even here. Switches out, it goes to. Come on. Yes. Yes. Finally. Now get that guy out of here. <laughs> I still want to kind of keep my um, Inteleon for Mudsdale, but um, I mean, it's <laughs> damn, it's it's not the le like the, the lead. I can't, I can't speak. It's not the easiest choice right now. Uh, I should be faster in Mudsdale. Should be face faster than uh, Flareon and uh, his. Um, I can't. Oh, and you of everybody. Can I even switch into this? I mean, kinda. I actually don't believe uh, that it, his ability disguise protects him from. Uh, there's a play rough. That should do good damage, though. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. Um, I have an easy play, and that is actually Strange Sap, but I am so worried. For um, that, I boost the Lorantis. But right now, I think that's the easiest play. Keeps attacking, good. <laughs> I was like, don't. Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Good part is that we cannot force him out, and uh, the minus attack is very helpful. And uh, I mean, I am very much beating the Lorantis, aren't I? Um, sporing here. Like I said, really hope Lurantis isn't coming in. Good old Cumberdale. I mean, I know this Pokemon isn't necessarily viable. Um, it's so viable that I can't remember its name. But I remember when it was introduced, you know, it was this alternative, I guess we call it, to... Um, um, what do you call it? Um, Whimsicott. Finally, another fairy and... Uh, Fairy and um, for the life of me, I'm screwing this over. Fairy and grass, and then Tapabu comes all to the same generation, just making that combination obsolete by default. 
Yeah, but it's so... Um, such a shame, really. Right? Flare on his back. And... Um, I mean, I guess it would have been nice to try to knock this guy out, but... I am not there. Um, we're gonna send in Hexroid and hope we can take a Flare Blitz. And I say hope, because quite frankly, probably not. But that would... Oh, wish. You know what? That's better. I can do better. So, Choice Bandit Close Combat, I think. Versus this? Yeah, I think that makes sense. He could switch his Mudstale. I can't stop speaking about Mudstale. <laughs> right, the side sustain, this is awesome, as this is going to absolutely knock out Flareon, and the wish is going to be wasted. There is a lot of good things happening right now, and it all started with the Inteleon making sure that I was not going to have glory. How the hell was... Like, I'm, I laughed at people for leading out, or when I used the Molga, and you know, haha, it worked so well. And now I'm getting it against me, and it's like, Jesus Christ, that set is actually working. <laughs> Alright, sending Voyager, um, absolutely sacking it, and uh, then sending back this set just to go for bandage or, or first impression. Um, I'm very worried about uh, focus energy. I should be more worried about this, aren't I? Yeah. Here we go. I don't believe I need to be like super worried, but at the same time, can I stall out versus this? I mean, hardly. This is probably one of the first time I feel I want to uh, dynamize just to parry. Max A stream, yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah, it's a Scopeland set. Which is good. It that is something that I think is manageable. But um Like I can't beat Mudstale with this. So the way I see it that won't work either. Um Ah yeah, let's do this. Just get as much damage in there as possible, and then bring in my... Um, I was gonna say Thanos, but... Um, that's not right. You turn a braver, Braybird. I'm still slower. No, I'm faster. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's super luck for you. Oh my shit! <laughs> oh shit! Unfessant! <laughs> well, how about that? Well, how about that? <laughs> You got ruined, mate! You got ruined! That was fucking fantastic. Shit. Oh, Rocky Helmet. That's actually quite unfortunate. Um, so he's forced to at least sleep one more turn. And... Um, basically, I'm, I'm dying here anyway. Do I need his Pokemon? I say yes and no. But mostly no, so... Um, Fuck it, let's go for that Braybird. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling the super luck. Unpheasant has already showcased what it's all about. Yeah, it's just asking people to fuck off. <laughs> oh, the recall, no! <laughs> yeah, this is cool. This is very cool. Um, so depending on... Like, if it brings Mudstale, I'm bringing Cumberdale. The Cumberland is overall better choice. 
but Hexoid do force out Lurantis. Or Hexatroid. Which one is it? You choose poorly. And, um, I mean, there is no backplate to go in for close combat as uh, I'm always faster than Lurantis anyway. So, choice band close combat. Now, he could try to preserve this and go into Mudstale. Decides not to, which is fine. Um, pretty much making me get into the zone. Um, versus Mudstale, however, how much do I want that Pokemon to, um, to get boosted? The way I see it, my easiest switch in versus it is Mudstale and just bring it up because Basically, there are very few Pokemons that I know who are defensively shaken by doing nothing like uh, like Mudstill is doing. It is just one of those Pokemons that, I don't know, it makes sense and I hate it. Stamina is just such a treat. He could have a Heavy Slam, which is something I'm somewhat worried about. High horsepower, I can do that. Oh... Cumberdale, Cumberdale, my man. Now I'm gonna since he Dynamax, I've, I want to wrap up the game, so I'm actually gonna Dynamax my my absolutely wonderful Pokemon. I just can't remember the name of, and I'm feeling awful about it. it. It's it's clearly like a swap of some or mushroom. You know, I, I'm a botanist. I should be able to. Uh, <laughs> to know what type of Pokemon this is. You know what? As as we look at the wonders that is Cumberdale Salad Fingers, we are absolutely going to check this guy out. Um, let's see, Heavy Slam. Does it work because I am Dynamaxed? I knew it was coming my way. And goodbye. Mud's not actually not going to kill it. Oh yeah, I, I'm fine. I'm good. Um, let's see, the name is Shinotic, I knew that. <laughs> so, really awesome game. I I did not look hot there at all, didn't I? Quite frankly, this was one of those games where I I win because I'm a bit on the lucky side, but I'm okay with it. This was a dumb team from both sides, but I think my opponent's team was vastly superior to my team, and uh, even if I lost or or won. This I wouldn't mind losing to because I like this synergy here. It was awesome. So, GG to my opponents and to everybody watching. Thank you for doing just so and have a great day, everyone.